If you're looking for a wireless on-camera microphone that will allow you to properly go hands-free when you're recording outdoors or allows you to get rid of your wired external microphone when you're recording indoors, then you should try the Hollyland Lark M1 wireless microphone because it means that I can record this from all the way over here. This microphone has allowed me to upgrade my audio setup because no longer am I restricted to using the onboard microphone outdoors, which sounds like this. I can now use this microphone to get better sound quality while at the same time not being confined to being this close to be within earshot of the onboard camera microphone. And when I'm recording indoors in situations like this, if you've been watching my videos for the last couple of months, I've transitioned from using this microphone, which is usually out of sight, to this one. And thanks to that change, I feel like it's been a real game changer for me and my content. And can also be for anyone who wants to record higher quality audio for their videos, podcasts, live streams, or interviews. First of all, the Lark M1 is a wireless mic system that consists of a small and lightweight transmitter, which can be easily clipped onto anywhere. I've got it attached to my top. And it also comes with a compact receiver, which can be mounted onto your camera or phone with the included cables via a 3.5 millimeter port. Mine is attached to the small rig case attached to the Sony ZV-10. There are two variations of what you can buy with this microphone. There's the duo set and the solo set. The duo set features an initial transmitter, useful if you're recording audio for more than one person, and a charging case. And the solo set, which I've got here, which is the cheaper of the two sets, only features the transmitter and the receiver. The transmitter is omnidirectional, which means that it can receive sound input from all directions. So if you're looking for something like a cardioid one, then this isn't the one, but it will still capture your voice in rich detail while recording the ambient sound and multiple voices in a natural way. Do you know what the best part about this wireless microphone is? Is that it uses a 2.4 gigahertz adaptive frequency hopping technology to ensure a stable and interference-free wireless connection between the transmitter here and the receiver all the way over here, which means that you can record clear audio from up to 650 feet, which is 200 meters away from your camera or phone without worrying about signal dropouts or latency. When it says 200 meters, it means clear line of sight or open space distance. If you've got your back turned to the camera, there are things in the way and there's no clear line of sight between the transmitter and the receiver, then it's rated for about 130 foot or just under 40 meters. Okay, we're gonna see how far the range is on the Highland Lark M1 wireless microphone. Can you still hear me at the camera? Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna see how far it is. I'm just gonna walk backwards. And probably speed this up in post. Oh, it is now 13 meters. Even though it doesn't seem like 13 meters away from the camera, it seems a bit further than that. 25 meters in, 28 meters. Just gonna walk in a straight line. I might turn my back just to see if I'm not. Thought I'd walk, trodden in something then. 53 meters. Remember before when we were filming? previously and we got to 85 meters but I think we can go a little bit further than that probably can't see me zoomed in anymore because I'm only using the short range lens on the camera but you can still hear me this is still the sound from the Sony ZV E10 92 meters away I'm still walking backwards still feeling a bit silly 110 meters away Hundred and forty meters away, still walking backwards. Hundred and fifty meters in. One hundred and sixty meters. There's a dog looking at me, thinking I'm a bit crazy. Hundred and eighty meters. I'm running out of uh, out of distance. Hundred and ninety meters. I'm officially two hundred meters away. Can you still hear me? Yes, you can. I don't know whether to, uh, I might get to 210 meters and then I'll come back. Because then, oh, 210 meters, can you still hear me? Yes, you can. Okay, it's 210 meters. Up. So, let's go back to the camera. If you find yourself in an outdoor noisy environment, you can also switch between two modes, the hear clear mode, 
which reduces background noise and enhances your voice, which means that you can record clear and crisp audio even in noisy or windy situations. And natural mode, which preserves the ambient sound for more of a realistic effect. And that is what the mic is set to, and is actually what I mainly use in this environment. And if it does get a bit noisier, then there also is a windshield that fits on the transmitter. So this is what the Holy Landmark M1 wireless microphone sounds naturally with the hear clear noise cancellation turned off. And with the press of the noise cancellation button, this is what it sounds like with the hear clear noise cancellation turned on. Let me know in the comments below which sounds better with or without the noise cancellation turned on. As well as being easy to use, they are also convenient to charge. If you purchase these with a charging case, then the case itself is actually quite a smart design. Not only does it store your mics, but it also charges the transmitter and receiver via USB-C. If you've just got the solar version without the charging case, then you can plug a USB-C cable directly into the bottom of the transmitter and to the side of the receiver. The charging case, the transmitter and the receiver all take an hour and a half to fully charge. And on that same a full charge of the transmitter and receiver can last up to eight hours on a full charge. And together with the charging case, it can provide up to 20 hours of recording time which is going to be more than enough battery life for a whole day's worth of shooting. And it makes it very convenient and practical for those long sessions or traveling. While having the charging case is obviously the easiest option when it comes to having this one as mic. It's definitely a bit more costly than the set I've got without it, but there's not too many negatives about not having the charging case. While both the transmitter and receiver automatically pair with each other when you turn them on, and you take them out of the charging case. When you first get these and you haven't got the charging case, you'll have to manually pair them together by pressing the pair button first on the transmitter, then the pair button on the receiver, and then you're done. And then you won't have to pair them again. You'll also have to manually turn each of them on and off every time you use them. But if you're thinking, if I get a charging case, then at least I've got somewhere to put them when I'm not using them. But don't worry, this set, the solo set, also comes with a storage case which means that you'll get to safely store the work as well as any other items that come in the box, like the user manual, the quick guide, the warranty card, the USB to USB-C cable for charging and updating the software, a furry windshield, a 3.5 TRS patch cable for attaching the receiver to cameras, and another 3.5 TRS to TRS patch cable for attaching the receiver to other devices like smartphones. While on other microphones there's usually a physical knob or a gain dial, there are three volume settings on this microphone, low, medium and high. By default it is actually set to mid, but by pressing the plus or minus button on the receiver then you can change that sensitivity. So now you know everything about the Hollyland Lark M1 wireless microphone system. Who is the target market for these microphones? Well, I think it's perfect for anyone who wants a bit more freedom to their creative process, whether you're a YouTuber, a vlogger, a live streamer, filmmaker, journalist, or educator, you will benefit from having a wireless microphone system that gives you freedom of movement, flexibility of placement, and that reliability of transmission. And now you might even have to worry about terrible wires, bulky equipment, or poor sound quality anymore, thanks to these. I'll leave the link to this wireless microphone system in the description below, which is available at a reasonable price for such a powerful and user-friendly product. If you're interested in getting it for yourself or as a gift for someone else, which I've done both, check out that link. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. And also let me know in the comments what you think about these wireless microphones. And if you've got any questions about it, let me know as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.